Okay, now I want to cover one more thing. You have a lot of transportation systems in your body. So you've got all these tubes and vessels that are uh, carrying things to and from different organs. Um, you, first of all, you have your arteries and your veins. Most of the time, your arteries are going to be red and your veins are going to be blue, but do not memorize your vessels based on those colors because the definition of an artery is that it carries blood away from the heart. So this big vessel right here is an artery. It's the aorta. It's carrying blood away from the heart that's being pushed out to all parts of the body and that's going to be bringing oxygen to all parts of the body. Okay? But right below that, you've got another vessel here, which is blue, which is also an artery. And it's carrying blood towards the lungs. So it's still carrying blood away from the heart. So don't go with arteries are, blue, are red and veins are blue. That doesn't always work. Remember, arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood towards the heart. So you've got the aorta carrying blood away from the heart. This is your pulmonary trunk that's carrying blood away from the heart. But then you have the superior vena cava, which is bringing blood from your head down towards the heart. You have the inferior vena cava, which is bringing blood from below your heart, all parts of your body, back up towards the heart. Then you've got the abdominal aorta, which is carrying blood away from the heart. So remember, arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood towards the heart. And it just depends on whether or not it's oxygenated or not as to the color on these models. So this has no oxygen in it because it's going to the lungs so that it can get reoxygenated. So that's why it's blue. So don't let the color, colors fool you. Um, so you've got all these blood vessels that run all over your body carrying gases back and forth um, and different nutrients and uh, hormones and different things. But you also have a, a, a vesicular system <coughs> known as the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system tends to run kind of parallel with the uh, vascular system, which is the arteries and veins, um, but the lymphatic system is going to drain fluid from your tissues and it's going to carry it in and all these little orange vessels here are lymphatic vessels, but you see these little brown uh, ball looking shaped organs here? These are lymph nodes. Think about what's in your skin and your tissues and everything. You want to take that liquid from your tissues and you want to filter it out through these lymph nodes. So it's just like running all your uh, fluids through these filters and then we're going to take that fluid and dump it back into our blood vascular system. So these would be lymph nodes, or excuse me, lymph vessels. These would be lymph nodes. So if you were to name this, you would say this is the femoral region of your body. It's on the left side, so these would be left femoral lymphatic vessels. These would be left femoral lymph nodes. If you went up in here, like in your armpit, remember the armpit region is known as the axillary area, so these would be left axillary lymph, node, uh, lymph vessels, and then these little brown dots here, which are the filters, would be left axillary lymph nodes. So just remember the lymph system is going to drain fluid from your tissues and put it back into your blood vascular system. And arteries carry blood away from the heart, veins carry blood towards the heart.